Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Nari and Just Channel. It's another Friday. Mm, sorry for the late start. Lord, I stress out and tired. Yesterday, I went and did my mammogram. This is now. The left boob complied. The right boob was like, no, I'm not doing it today. So the lady all and pulled me poor titty. Lord Jesus. I said, <laughs> she had to do this side twice. The way she all and pulled me when I go and put on a piece of sleep there. Lord God, my poor titty traumatized. But anyways, enough about me. How was your week? Alright, I hope it was going good for you. It was busy for me. I am I am seriously tired. I'm at work tomorrow. God. But anyways, yes, so anyways, it's a great day. It's good to be here. Let's get into it. So first of all, of course, you know I have to big up my subscribers. Thank you guys for staying with me. Thank you for watching my videos thank you for liking thank you for giving me feedback on stuff that i need to do better i will keep that in mind yes and i want to big up one of my top fans miss maureen big up yourself miss maureen come and know you're gonna watch this so big up yourself anyways if you have a birthday you know what time it is happy birthday to you Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. And if it's your anniversary, happy anniversary to you from me. Yay. <laughs> like a yay party. Yes, and big up to my winners this week. Again, may I tell them, girl, they're about, you know, these ladies are sharp. They're on it. And the winners this week, from the, for last week, Riddle, their names are Camille Stanford and Jan for short. Yay! <laughs> congratulations. Yes, congratulations, ladies. And the question was... What is greater than God, worse than the devil, and when you eat it, you die of hunger? The answer is nothing. Nothing is greater than God. Nothing is worse than the devil. And when you eat nothing, yeah, maybe over two or three weeks or so, yeah, you're dead for hungry. <laughs> yes, yeah, so congratulations, ladies. Congrats. And with that being said, congratulations to the winners of Boys and Girls Champs in Jamaica that took place last week. Congratulations. Big up yourself, KSC. 40s forever. 40s for life. And also big up to Edwin Allen, Edwin, Edwin Allen High School. Uh, yes, the girls did very well. Let me tell you, them girls, mm -hmm, some good time, you know. Yeah, man. Yeah, we still have it. We, I see some budding potential out there. And congrats to the rest of the kids that took part, cause I'm so mad for that. Miss him, we couldn't even run fire so today. So the only time you hear, you see me run that fast, I see me hear gunshot. Mm -hmm. Then we run left everybody. <laughs> Yes, my dear. And the next news, the good news. So, um, effective today, pre-testing for travel to Jamaica and mask mandate for enclosed public places measures expires. All right, in layman terms, we don't have to take no tests for go to Jamaica, no COVID tests. And they basically, they lift the, the mask ban. It is uh, optional. You can still wear your mask. I would suggest people still wear their masks because, you know, you 
look a fully gone but basically you don't have to but some places i think you know if if some like in the health healthcare sex, sector and all of that yeah i think they, they might still require that because even at my workplace i mean you don't have to wear a mask but at where i work my place of work we require the clients to wear a mask you know for safety sake because it's still out there you know fully gone you understand so yes so that's the good news so you don't have to take that test but i don't know if we have to take a test to come back into the states but definitely you don't have to take a test to go to jamaica effective the 15th which is today yes next on my list oh so the president of the republic of rwanda mr paul kagami i think that's how you pronounce he visited jamaica a three-day visit and um yes so he's in jamaica i don't know if he's a if he left us yet but yeah he's still he should be still there yeah so he's there to hold bilateral talks with our prime minister andrew holness and you know other little activities where he went and lay read at um the grave of marcus garvey and you know other little things you know the state visitors so anyway big up yourself President Paul Kagami and welcome to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. Enjoy some of our food down there. Mm -hmm. Next, guess what? The great Barris Hammond and Charlie Wilson. Who know Charlie Wilson from the Gap Band? The single. Oh. You dropped the bomb on me, baby. Yeah. And the song was outstanding, girl, you knock me up, you blow my mind. Yeah, and him sing, and then on his own, him, that was when he was in the gap band. And then now on his own, him say, hey girl, how you doing? My name is Charlie, Charlie Wilson. Yeah, Amanda, mm -hmm. he's in Jamaica doing a collaboration with Barry's hammer, and you know, say Barry's are our, our, where does it know? Well, Bob Marley, our, the king of reggae. So, Barry's our, no, the godfather of reggae. You don't know what kind of title for game. To me, te, I would, I, I, I describe Barry's as the, the Jamaican Teddy P. Yeah. Can you imagine those two powerful voices coming together and creating? wonderful music we can't wait to hear it i cannot wait but that's a good collab it, it anything from 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 barry's Avan, it must be good that man is a perfectionist anything he put out there if him even sing that the letters are the alphabet it all goes all good so yeah we'll perk up with ears for that all right port more people i who live a spanish town uh, who live in a uh, mandible clarendon them area there guess what price mart is now open in portmore yes my people because price mart used to be well we still have the other price mart in um on red hills road that's yeah and they so used to chuck up chuck up with the parking so no big big parking over portmore so if even people in Kingston, if you don't want to take a nice drive out and come over to Portmore to Price Mart, yes, it is open. And for those of you who live in a big farm and don't know what is Price Mart, Price Mart is like BJ's, Sam's Club, and Costco. It's the same thing. You pay for membership and the layout is the same. When you go in there, the first thing you see the big the, 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 the electronics and the clothes and the groceries and everything it's the same thing you understand so yeah that's what i'm telling you you know say when you're there big foreign you know if you're logo logo we know we pass something for care down there you know just go, go down there and buy the things then because jamaica is, is a little foreign you understand up here so big foreign down there so a little foreign so you know they're not miss out for nothing yes my darlings so there is a development 
a real estate development going on in the Discovery Bay. So all you people out there who want to um, invest, there is a place, um, the Discovery Bay Corridor in St. Anne. Um, they're setting up a, what do you say now? a vacation luxury residential um, unit so they're doing some units um it's done by kef for ford co k-e-f-o-r d-c-o limited yes my dear they they have the ground has been broken so they're gonna set up some luxury um residential units um azore a, a Z U R E R A Z U R E, and this is an 18 month project and it will be completed in September 2023. So, if you want to buy something down there, because hey, real estate you can't lose, you know, you can't check out these people. Ked Ford Co. Limited, once I'm said logs, you know, said the money, yeah, that will be expensive, but it will be. I mean you'll make back your money you know you can't go wrong this up and it looks nice based on the picture look this is what it's gonna look like yep uh-huh yes so I have a nice little story here that I would love to share it is a heartwarming story and it's about a young, young man that attends the Buff Bay High School. His name is Rodane Green. You see, there is still hope for young people out there. There is still hope. So this young man, he found a phone and he realized that it um it belonged to a police and um a police officer and he went and he returned the phone when he took the phone to the police station and you know the policeman was so happy be um, because he had a lot of important information on the phone so he said to the young man you know i don't have anything to reward you right away but you know, give me a number. The, the young man said to him, I don't have a phone. You know, and you know, that moved him and they came together and they rewarded the young man with a new phone and uh, um, $10,000 $10, school bag and books as a sign of pre appreciation for his good deed. I am so proud of you, young man being honest because it was an expensive phone you didn't have a phone and if it was somebody else they would have said you know what me find a phone find us keepers and you could have take out the chip out of it and buy one little chip and put in there you understand but he was honest enough to return the phone so kudos to you young man i am so proud of you and young people yeah honesty is still the best policy that's how we can say about that. Yes, that was a very nice story. No, <laughs> this German man, you know, Lord of mercy. Yeah, this is a story, you know. You know, so I have to find two crazy stories before me end my me, me, me thing. So, <laughs> man in Germany gets 90 COVID-19 shots to sell forged passes. So your sister are not only carrying people the hustling. <laughs> that is a one German man. It's a man you hustle. You understand? It said a 60 year old man allegedly had himself vaccinated against COVID-19 dozens of times in Germany in order to sell forged vaccination cards with real vaccine batch numbers people not wanting to get the to get vaccinated themselves the man 
get all and 90 shots. You got a must some good money, make because me can't tell you when we did that like a one shot there. And me say me not do no more. The, what we did do? The Johnson and Johnson. Let me tell you something. I have a piece of fever there. Me say I never hear my bone shake say in all my life. In the middle of the night, me hear my bone them a shake. Put on a, 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 a piece of fever there, and then the next day, you know, me gone with my cute self gone to work. I could have barely managed the whole day. I want to sleep, I want to sleep, I want to sleep, I want to sleep. So, for you, if you do 90 shots, Jesus, man, I hope it's worth it. <laughs> no, sir. This is man, you're not easy. Mm -mm. Mm. Then here this is your next story I know. Pregnant inmates in the New Jersey prison. Female prison. Two of them got pregnant by transgender inmates. When you hear what me say, listen again. Two female inmates got pregnant by transgender inmates no they said it was consensual but the point is if you put a cup chicken in a dress it's still a cup chicken you understand so how the hell you're gonna mix them and 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 have a real female together you know most expects that something go happen eh Cause i like gonna ride them one another and then i gonna jump them one another and then they say in the prison they have 800 women and 27 transgenders they're not sure if it's one transgender get the two women pregnant or if it's more than if or if it's two different transgenders but the point is all right if them claim say them ad, um, identify themselves as women even though them still have that little thing under there put them in a one different section you understand will you mix them with the female for <laughs> no sir. for jesus you ever hear anything so <laughs> lord have mercy mm -mm. This is crazy. Why would you do that? I mean, common sense. Did I tell you? Them are not bored people. They still have feelings. You understand? Mm -mm. So now we have some. What kind of baby them you know? Well, they're still man. You understand? Man just up like woman. Or look like woman or whatever. You know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, my dears. So, you know, now another thing for this course. One little thing for my mind. You know what I say? Social media can be not, well, not social media. Social media, yes, and the media. They can be such hypocrites. So, you know, Rihanna, she, she pregnant. And from she pregnant, her belly just a poke out me eye. Every time I poke my phone up, her belly a joke out me eye. You understand? And all of a sudden now, she's on the vote, the cover of Vogue, showing off some pregnancy fashion. And all of a sudden, Missy people are glorifying this thing. Because in one breath, they're saying, you know, you need to get married before you bring children into the world. She never do that. So, in other words, for me, she's a glorified baby mother. You understand? Because if an ordinary woman did do that and get pregnant, they would have said, why she never get married first? And if an ordinary woman did walk up and down with her belly out her door, they would have class her from here so to Jerusalem, say, oh, she look disgusting and she look inappropriate. But because it's Rihanna, all of a sudden now it look proper. Seriously, people? Call it for what it is. She now set no example for nobody. Just like Ono can 
disgrace an ordinary person who that do the same thing. You understand? I say she just want baby mother. And the same thing. Just because she has little money, she have little, she have her purse. She have money in her purse. You understand? All of a sudden, it look proper. No, it not look proper. Cover your damn self. Me tired to see your belly up, up, up me eye them. You understand? Me just dying for your up and have this baby. Honestly. Honestly. I don't see nothing cute about it. But I walk up and down and show your belly all over the place. I don't want to see it. Every time I turn on my phone, I eat that in my eye. No, I don't need to see it. You know, and people need to stop being hypocrite. You know, call, call it for what it is. It looks inappropriate. My business is where no one has to say. Yeah. I said it there. I said it. <laughs> Anyways, you know, I forgot to big up my, my, my little group, music group I listen to. Secret Sundays. Last week it was fun. Yes, every Sunday you can tune in on Twitch, that app. Twitch TV and you can search for a secret Sunday edition they start at 6 30 until 10 Eastern um, Central Time 5 30 to 9 I will put the link below understand so that you can you can click on it and you know I don't know I don't remember which DJ will be playing but there are four DJs they rotate uh, every Sunday so you have DJ Marky Mark, you have DJ Tiger, DJ Biggie, and DJ Mikey G. I don't know who is playing this Sunday, but you can tune in, you know, and show your support over there. And with that being said, let's get into Riddle Me This, Riddle Me That, Guess Me This Riddle, or perhaps not. All right, this one is easy. What goes around the wood, but never goes into the wood? Okay, let me repeat that. What goes around the wood, W-O-O-D, but never goes into the wood, W-O-O-D? And the answer has, Four letters you're gonna you're gonna be like oh. <laughs> yes but yeah let's see who's going to um solve this one anyways people we have come to the close of another week in review thank you so much for tuning into my channel again if you like what you saw please smash that like button subscribe 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 share 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 you know and leave a comment you know tell me one of things want to feel about rihanna and our big belly all over the place oh, you know want to feel about these inmates that got pregnant <laughs> by the transgender <laughs> you know yeah, put your, your, your little comment. I like to see them and I, you know, and I like to reply to them, you know. So, guys, you have a wonderful Easter. I mean, if you remember, say, at Easter weekend, you know, you're doing a big foreign. When you're doing a Jamaica, you know, you know, you know, say, at Easter is a nice long weekend. So, back in the day, I would have, would have packed up a little thing and head out from either Thursday or Friday morning, you go up on the north coast, you go chill out, and then you know you have a nice long weekend. Not no, me or some miss, master or missus. My ass have to go to work. <laughs> Cause the only thing them celebrate us are the Sunday. When I just moved to this country, I was living in Wisconsin. So the first time um when I was working, um the work of polls the head office I used to do them post audit so holy <laughs> Thursday the hope I say how come them don't let me out early because we know when we work at Jamaica we leave work after holy Thursday so work until five o'clock so me take up my bag and I say to everybody bye see you all on Tuesday 
Someone buy us a... What's happening? Why are you not coming in? <laughs> Someone said, well, tomorrow is Good Friday and then Easter Monday. So, you know, you might say, no, 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 no. <laughs> you don't do that here. <laughs> you have work Friday. <laughs> Listen up. If you cut me over, they say, blood, do we on my backs? I said, Jesus Christ, look how me left my good, good yard at Jamaica. We have a bunch of their holiday and come here, so I have to go and work. I'm big, I'm big, I'm big. I said, I'm going home and go see my husband. I said, why you bring me now this God forsaken? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Jaja, <laughs> no, sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. So now it's like. You're not even, I mean, it, Easter just creep upon you this year. It comes so fast, may not even realize it there until this week when people are saying, Happy Easter, what are you doing Easter? I'm like, what? It's Easter already? Oh boy. Yes, my dears. So, yeah, so work tomorrow and definitely work for me on Monday. I will I will go to work with a heavy heart, you know, reminiscing of my days off in Jamaica, but, you know, I just let go. Yeah. So, for you people in Jamaica or, and um, around the world who have that day off, enjoy your Easter weekend. Eat all the bun and cheese that you all can. I think, me have bun but me not no cheese. Sure. I have to go buy a cheese tomorrow. But yeah, my one little bun. You understand? Yeah, so enjoy the bun and cheese and the fried fish and the whole works. Have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you all next time.